Hey guys, it's me again. I'm making an additional video for you uh, in order to truly help uh, with title building, title optimization. And in this video, I'm about to show you uh, a different tool uh, that is called Google AdWords. This is the tool that most dropshippers use. Uh, I'm sorry, not most dropshippers, but most people online who tries to rank their site on Google um, most advertisers already are familiar with this tool because it is truly a very famous and a very well-known tool because it is uh, from Google company and Google of course are considered to be the top um, when we try to develop new ideas new keywords and because their uh, data is so amazingly huge so this tool is absolutely free, just like uh, the different tool I showed you uh, in the first video I made. Uh, by the way, if you haven't watched the uh, previous video uh, for the eBay Security Center plus the secret free tool I showed there, uh, I would highly suggest you to do that because uh, the previous tool is actually way better to my opinion. But a Google AdWords is also a very, very nice one that I currently use. Uh, in order to come up with different ideas and new, uh, more unique keywords. So let me show you how Google AdWords is. I type Google AdWords, uh, Google AdWords uh, keyword planner. You see, this is it. Keyword research strategy with keyword planner. Um, this is the tool. Let's go on to the first one. And its site should be looking like that. This is, of course, the current look. Uh, we are just about to hit December. So choose the right keywords. We have an option to go to Keyword Planner. We choose that. We click on that. And then we have two options to choose from. We have, we should have define new keywords and the get search volume and forecast um, of course each one of them explains pretty well what it does uh, if we want to come up with new ideas new keywords based on a uh, few ideas that we already give Google because they need to somewhat somehow know what we are searching for we should hit this define new keywords the get search volume and forecast it is less relevant at least to us uh, it is that um, it is to forecast actually to to let us know how many people actually search for a specific phrase um, and how much a Google predicts it will be searched on the future in the future. So let's hit define uh, new keywords. Now we need to give uh, Google um, um, basically uh, an idea what we currently search for if we're looking to expand ourselves in uh, this product for example I took this product because it is a very uh, good example actually uh, this is a product that I sold in my stores for a very very long time I actually do still sell it it's just um, uh, almost to now now uh, but in the past I made a few hundred dollars out of this product because it was a really really trendy product at the, at the time and the problem with the, uh, with this product was that everyone basically everyone on eBay used the same kind of keywords because people don't really um, are uh, don't really uh, have new ideas. They just see what goes well and just copy it. Uh, people aren't original very much. And because everyone uses the same tool, everyone uses the same titles, You, the competition was actually fierce. Uh, um, at the start, it was a really, really good product. And then more and more people entered the, re the competition. It was just a nightmare everyone lost their sales uh, for me it was a hit run uh, for a very long time but then it slowly started to get less and less sales and that was the issue 
So if I will ask you how to describe it, how to build the title, most chances are that you'll build it the same kind of way that most people on eBay already do. And that is the exact problem. That's why we actually need to surround ourselves with different tools for title optimization in order to really get different ideas. So let's say that we want to find new keywords for this product. What we should do is to actually describe this product in uh, um, a few keywords or two, three phrases max. Uh, this is what I usually do. Um, so I would describe it as solid cutter or a vegetables slicer, for example. I paste it here. I can just do it manually also, solid cutter, hit the enter button. And that is what this product is basically. Um, this, uh, this is in order for Google to get an idea what I want to search for. Now when I hit the get started button, Google will basically give me ideas plus the competition amount for each phrase and the average monthly searches. And on using that uh, huge data that uh, Google pro uh, provides me with, I can actually come up with different ideas, or different uh, words that I had no chance of actually enter uh, entering because uh, I just didn't come up with that on my own. So before we hit uh, the table and before we start uh, taking ideas, I want to tell you how this tool basically works because it isn't uh, very simple. Uh, basically, you can already know what you're getting. Uh, it, it can seem simple, but there are so many hidden options and stuff um, that it truly takes some time to get to know it. But I wouldn't really bore you uh, with a lot of uh, information. I just want to give you precisely what you need. So let's talk about what we see above. On the locations, you can basically uh, tell Google from what type of um, place to come up with the data. For example, if I want to see what Americans search for, uh, the default will be on within the United States. So it will only give me data from within the United States, data that was generated by people who live or are currently at the United States. But if, uh, for example, I would want to sell on eBay Germany, the best thing will be to actually search for data within that was generated from Germany. And then I would hit the save button. But I will hit cancel now because uh, on eBay, most of our clients will be Americans from within the United States. Same goes for English, the language. If I would hit uh, or try to search for things in Germany or eBay Germany, I would search for keywords in the German language. The search networks, Google or Google and search partners isn't that relevant. Um, I use the Google and search partners. Basically, it gives us data from Google partners as well. Uh, partners that Google paid for in order to get access to uh, specific data that they show us in this uh, page. So I leave it like that. Now, as you can see, we have the keyword like vegetable slicer and salad cutter. These are the things we open with. Then we have different things like mandolin, uh, mandolin uh, vegetable slicer, vegetable uh, spiralizer. Sorry if I don't pronounce it correctly. Uh, spiral slicer, uh, zucchini noodle uh, something. I can just move that. Zucchini noodle maker, vegetable cutter, zucchini special. Uh, I'm sorry, these are some hard words for me. Uh, I am not familiar with those. Veggie noodle maker, we have a vegetable slice. Uh, I'm sorry, not slicer, but what was here? Uh, I had um, a ah, shredder uh, and many, many different ideas. And we see that those are on high competition, meaning that on Google, a lot, a lot of people try to rank those kind of keywords. So they try to get their pages shown up uh, you, while using words like uh, mandolin slice and all the stuff we just read. 
uh, it doesn't tell us that on eBay the same things happen because on eBay we don't we cannot know for sure if whether the competition is also high it can be very low competition it is possible that on eBay no one uses salad cutter this salad cutter phrase it isn't really it, I'm sure they do but it is possible that on e on Google something will be uh, you know on very first competition and on eBay something entirely different will happen but basically it will usually be about the same so if on Google something is being searched for a lot and uh, the competition is very very high mostly on eBay the same thing will happen even though it doesn't need to be like that what we should try to come up with are things that are being searched for you can see the average is between for this uh, specializer uh, spiralizer sorry uh, 100 uh, between 100k to 1 million people actually search for it for slice the same goes for meat slicer same thing between 100k and 1 million as you can see it isn't very specific it's really broad uh, but between the two you can see something that is very interesting even though both of them are pretty much um, using Google uh, um, uh, at least Google claims that those two are between the same range of searches but the competition is entirely different this one has a high competition this is a low competition meaning less people try to rank using those keywords less people use it so it actually means that the second one will be much better a much better keyword and at least if relevant of course it can be not relevant as well there will be many many searches here that will be unrelevant to our uh, product but between the two this one will be better again if relevant of course what i try to say is that there's a need, at least to my opinion, for one filter that we are about to show. Uh, we should filter out things that has high competition. At least to my opinion, I don't really like to use keywords that have a lot, lot of sellers using. When I try to use those tools like Google AdWords Planner, like uh, eBay Security Center, like all these different uh, different tools for title optimization, I try to come up with different and more unique keywords. If I would try to hit the most search for and uh, the highest competition um, uh, keywords or phrases, I would just see what my competitors use. But if I want to come up with things that are more unique, I will hit the uh, the the uh, filter I'm about to show you now. As you can see, we have filters here. And some of them are already being entered by default. We have the showed broadly related ideas. This is what I actually really like. If you will hit the closely related ideas, it will show you only searches that uh, that Google are more uh, uh, do believe that are very very related to the keywords we entered before the vegetable slice and salad cutter but it will basically let google know that you don't want them to come up with things that might not be related but can also be very very good so you will tell google to basically give you the best 30 40 50 or i don't know whatever however if you will choose the broadly related ideas you will usually get a much bigger list you can see they give you 1800 searches instead of just 46 and yeah a lot of the keywords here will be not relevant but it is better to take 1800 and filter out 800 results that are unrelevant and still stay with 1000 it will be better than just hit the very related the closer related and come up with 50 okay this is at least in my opinion you can filter manually and on the broadly related ideas i usually come up with the most unique phrases that i never even thought of entering 
uh, at least to my title and I saw a lot of success from this filter we have by default the exclude uh, adult ideas I uh, it is a default you don't need to touch that it, it basically let Google know that you don't want them to show any uh, searches that can be adult related material and the next filter that will ma enter manually because it doesn't come up with uh, by default as these two is the competition I hit here competition and I want to see only medium and low competition amounts meaning that if there is a word that has so many people trying to rank for it and high competition amount it will not show it and then once hitting apply I can basically filter the most search for phrases up front meaning that only the most search for will be show here but I will also get low competition and medium competition not just high if I will remove this filter and then do that I will hate a lot of high and those are unrelevant to me because I don't want to use those most of those will be also high uh, competition uh, on eBay so again I do competition medium and low and I try to see what is being uh, searched for a lot at least in Google but also have a low competition like cucumber salad I never even thought about uh, entry cucumber salad I would do something like salad cutter uh, kitchen gadget vegetable slicer chopper uh, and things like that I wouldn't even thought about entry cucumber broccoli uh, watermelon a uh, feta salad which can be awesome um, ham salad if it works again only if it's relevant um, salad greens pink salad zucchini I have no idea what zucchini is but I try to read it correctly um, lobster again there will be a lot of things that will be unrelevant to us but from a 20 second search I already came up with at least three different ideas that I never never even thought about entering and yeah there is a lot of chance that most people will never even th search for a cucumber salad cutter for example but if the competition is very very low the people who do search for it will come up with you on the top of the searches and the potential can be huge I wouldn't recommend to just this, uh, use this rule blindly. It is, of course, more complicated than that. But you can do uh, use it and then, you know, like compare your uh, data to eBay and see if whether cucumber salad, uh, people who use this specific tool on eBay with the cucumber salad, maybe they sell very well. And maybe even if no one uses it, just try it in your title. Give it two weeks, three weeks, see if it sells. If not, try to change your title. You can do experiments. Um, and guys, this is an absolute and astonishing tool. Uh, many people use it. Most are advertisers. Um, not just for eBay, not just for Google. Uh, they give you data from hundreds if not billions of people uh, because Google is on the top uh, uh, platforms for searches so they have access to so much data and you can kindly use it for upload free if you are familiar with that so guys I really do hope that you've enjoyed this video I hope I made uh, things uh, clear if not just let me know uh, hit the comments here let me know what wasn't explained very well or just ask me anything and I'll do my best to um, reply and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel so you'll get notification about my next videos okay goodbye guys